from the last five years to the last 20 years, Norbert Leo Butts and Sherry Renee Scott have been a match made in musical theater heaven. Yeah, the co-stars and longtime collaborators are back at it with their acclaimed cabaret show, Two Hander, and we are so <laughs> excited to have them with us today. Welcome, guys. Hi. Thank you. Thank you it's so nice to us. have you here, yes. Thanks for having, Thanks for us. having us. Yeah, so this show, this show sold out at Feinstein's 54 Below back in April. You're back for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the concept of the show is. Okay, you give me the hardest question to start <laughs> off. That's fine. Um, well, it really is um, a, a show ultimately um, about a workplace uh, environment relationship, um, and especially a workplace environment where you deal with the male-female dynamic and yeah. all of the things that we know that go into that. And we've had been fortunate enough to work in, in many, many things over the course of 25 years. and. We wanted to write a fun, entertaining, sexy show, much like ourselves, and then um, we um, <laughs> and then we realized that um, it was becoming a show that was, you know, you know, re very relevant for our times of of how do you negotiate these, you know, perhaps sexual tensions or when you really, really care for someone and the everydayness of it, the intimacy, the forced intimacy of it, and how to negotiate that, and, and Norbert um, wanted to uh, do the show with me somehow, and he stuck around. So he said yes. He said yes, <laughs> and, and he, yeah, and we've conceived of it together in that way. Nice. Well, you all were in the last five years, what, 20 years ago? Yeah. Was that the first time you worked together? No, we first met in 1997. We were both in Rent, and that's where we met, wow. and we became dear friends, um, and we were both replacements in rent so we were kind of like wow the second String. team we were second stringer we're outcast. we were kind of outcast yeah. Yeah. that show was like the hamilton of its day yeah and sherry was the first person who took over when adina menzel left the show i took over for adam pascal and so we kind of huddled together because we felt like you know that was such an intense experience for that original cast and then we came into it and felt a little bit like the new kids at school yes. so we really bonded over that yes. and and just became great friends and then two years later went through this really career-altering, life-changing experience of the last five years. Uh, personally, we went through a ton just as and our, our relationship, and then uh, professionally, that show has just had this whole life. And yeah, what is it about this show yeah. that has made it such a classic? What do you think? Um, well, I, I, I used to own this little uh, record label, and um, it was our first um, cast album that we did, and I, I really felt that um, you know, it was right after September 11th. Yeah. So downtown was still sadly very, you know, desolate. Yeah. And um, just as people were starting to come down, you know, the show closed. So we recorded the cast album, and I, I did feel very strongly that it would be like a fine wine that people would, you know, discover it over time. And um, I didn't know that they'd discover it in like three months, and then it would like it would be this thing. So it's been a a real gift. Um, uh, to to both of us that people have appreciated it through the years yeah. because it was a really a genuinely special experience for both of us in so many deep ways and that's why we wanted to wait we never sang from it again yeah mm -hmm. that's how special it was for us wow. and the first time we're singing in public from the show again is in this show well, really like you yeah. said you've worked and together a lot over the years I, I actually saw both of you in dirty rotten scoundrels you were so good in that it was Thank just you. amazing um, but now when you're on stage together since you've worked together so much do you I, feel, I imagine that you know each other's rhythm. We've worked together for a long time, yeah. too, and you get to know someone's Oops. rhythm. Oops. I just dropped yeah, my, gonna, my mic pack. I knew he was going <laughs> to do that. I got so excited <laughs> by your we question. We can still hear you. Well, no, this, <laughs> this, this, this is a really interesting thing. There's nobody quite like this woman um, in, in the world. Uh, we've done three major productions together, many other um, workshops and concerts and all kinds of things. Yeah. The uh, field experience. No one, I, no actress I've worked with more than Sherry. No singer I've worked with more than Sherry, and um, which has been great. Um, but the, the, as you guys were talking about, when you work with somebody for a long time, yeah. it, it, it mutates. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of affection, but we also we have a good BS detector with each other. We can't get away with the same <laughs> yeah. tricks. It's yeah. um, and and familiarity. navigating and navigating all of that has been. Um, and as like Norbert likes to say, familiarity breeds contempt, yeah. especially sometimes. With and me we're in a business, and you guys understand this too we're in a business that has a kind of a forced intimacy you show up with perfect strangers sometimes and in yeah, a week yeah. you're telling them revealing things about yourself yeah. because of the work your you know attractions are having you're seeing more of these people than you are your own yeah. relationships yeah. Mm -hmm. and it 
you do a kind of a jump forward yeah. in intimacy. A lot of yeah. times actors do, but we're finding out that it's, it's, it happens everywhere, really. Yeah, yeah it does. It's, it's, yeah, strangely relatable that what goes on in, in theater, the theater can be in, in a corporate office as well. well. It's I look forward to seeing this together on stage Thanks. and your intimacy and everything. Uh, so you can catch Norbert and Sherry in two-hander at Feinstein's 54 Below from July 9th through the 28th. And for tickets, head to 54below.com.